guys omoye here welcome back to my youtube channel i welcome you all both my new and old subscribers thank you for sticking with me i just had to put these filtered videos to show you guys this because i couldn't be looking at this hotness alone so i'm going to be creating this exact same look right now just stay tuned don't forget to like subscribe and share this video so let's get right so into right now, the video I'm using my skin active micellar cleansing water it's important to use this to remove any dirt whatsoever that may be on your face look at all the dirt we got out now i'm using my mario badescu spray and i'm using my little mini fan just to make sure that the spray is sunk directly into my skin now i'm using my embryolis moisturizer with my amazing brush from y glam beauty cosmetics to apply this moisturizer directly into my skin now i'm focusing on some areas which are the under eye okay i'm doing a lot on the under eye and also a reasonable amount on my nose don't feel like because it's a moisturizer you shouldn't put it on your nose this is my milk makeup hydro grip primer just two pumps is sufficient you apply this on your nose and every other place except the under eye you want to make sure that you keep the under eye hella moisturized at all times then you apply your milk makeup in every other place to make sure that your foundation has a wonderful grip now i'm using l'oreal true match my favorite drugstore foundation in c6 and w7 to get my exact skin tone c6 for the yellow undertone w7 for my skin tone so a perfect mixture of the two of them is perfect for me you guys will see how this turns out so i'm using my brush to first of all apply then i'm using my beauty blender to blend notice that i applied it all over my face and the truth is i gave this foundation about a minute to just sit there doing absolutely nothing this gives the foundation rather time to dry a little bit so that you can have a better coverage and a very wonderful application of the foundation don't try this for matte super super matte foundations like fancy beauty you it will choke <laughs> so i sprayed with my nia makeup setting spray and now i'm using my juvia's place concealer in number 15 notice how i applied this concealer for the under eye coming from the inner corner of the eye and extending it out then you do the nose as well and then the cupid's bow very important so after doing this you need to wait at least a minute for this to just sit in before you start to blend it gives a better coverage try this and let me know how it works for you so when you are blending now you're using the same beauty blender you used before blend the edges first don't go straight into the middle and just blend by the time you go straight into the middle you find out that you don't even have enough space to do this blending you would have to blend it anyhow so start from the edges only also notice that i left the inner corners of my under eye i'm not blending it out yet until i am done with contouring i will explain the reason why i do this i need it to sit there so that immediately i do my contouring i can blend it and set my face or set the highlighted areas immediately to contour i'm using c8 from l'oreal true match with my brush from y glam beauty cosmetics this brush is angled but it's but it's fluffy and thick so it will give you a good application don't forget the v technique when you're contouring to know about the v technique watch my previous videos here on youtube um now i'm going to be doing my nose contouring do the v first okay from the under from underneath the eyebrows or from the eyebrows do your v and then you use a fluffy brush i used a an angled brush to apply this and i used a fluffy brush to blend so now i'm ready to blend the under eye perfectly i just showed you guys my laura mercier translucent powder which i will use to to set my my highlighted areas immediately i blend this so the technique of blending this and then spraying the face i have done away with that this is what i think i want to stick to for now anytime i have any new techniques i'll let you guys know the reason is because i don't want the under eye highlight to sit there for long because it always creases and sometimes getting rid of the crease lines is causing havoc sometimes so i go straight now into my laura mercier translucent setting powder i'm using this to set the, the highlighted areas not just the under eye but i'm starting with the under eye because i mean the under eye is more at risk than any other highlighted area because it creases 
easily when it is still sticky now i'm going to do this to my forehead and all other highlighted areas down the bridge of my nose my cupid's bow my chin everywhere that i highlighted okay when you set you blend it in you keep patting until it blends in i have a tear under my eye always annoying me i always tear up each time i do my own makeup it's so annoying that was my lady v beauty planet powder palette the best powder palette ever made by a nigerian brand guys i'm using my buffer brush from noban beauty to apply that then now my angled brush from noban beauty as well to apply contouring from that same palette the powder palette i the powder shade rather i used for my skin was um sweet honey the contour shade i'm using is dark chocolate now my juvia's place zulu palette that rich orange shade right there is going to do my blush this is another new technique me this is me doing my blush before i bake <laughs> now i'm going to um, use my rcma setting powder to bake but i'm going to first of all intensify my nose contour now notice where i'm doing this from from directly underneath my eyes darkening that area before i bring it down to the sides of my nose make sure you darken underneath the eyebrow area <laughs> you get why <laughs> so now i'm using my rcma setting powder to snatch my nose first i snatch my nose first so this means that i apply a sufficient amount of the setting powder to that area before i just lightly extend it to the other parts of my under eye another new technique before i used to apply a great amount very generous amount of this everywhere in my under eye but now i focus on uh, the sides of my nose and also the inner corner of my eyes and then extend it just lightly i always feel myself after i bake it's like one of my favorite makeup processes ever now i'm going to use the same beauty blender to apply the same setting powder to my eyebrows my eyebrows are full guys i did not carve them but you see how i work wonders with them when i draw them so i apply this to my brows to make my pencil more intense when i start to draw make sure you do it it's actually a very important step for brows this is my beauty line by dd crayon pencil one of the best pencils out there <laughs> but i really love this pencil it shows immediately if you have issues with oh whenever you line your brows you don't see it especially when you work on dark skins you don't see the lines then you should get this pencil and do my powder technique it will really work wonders for you now let me know how it goes so now i'm drawing the straight line right under my eyebrows now this is the technique don't leave it unnecessary space just draw it directly where the hair stops okay follow the hair don't make the eyebrows fatter than it is supposed to be unnecessarily now do your strands while the pencil is still sharp or if you use a roll-up pencil the better do your strands in front okay the strands in front do not have to match that's the one on the left doesn't have to match the right so just do it anyhow then the next thing is to draw from the arc to join the lower line i'll do it on both sides take notes after drawing it from the arc then i would extend it to the other parts of the upper part of the eyebrow okay so now you can see how it looks after this then i'm going to just lightly lightly just do some strands inside so i'll show you guys you can see how fluttery and fluffy my eyebrows are you would understand this better when i do it on a model in subsequent videos that i will definitely shoot <laughs> now i'm highlighting with the same juvia's place concealer in number 15 that i used to highlight my face i'm highlighting the brow bone alone no, please take notes only the brow bone with this concealer shade now the pencil i'm using is a flat round block a <laughs> flat round brush i always make that mistake this brush is a fluffy brush from beauty line by didi perfect for patting to blend your highlights now i will use the foundation shade for the inner corner and the outer part of my eyebrows and also pat to blend with the same brush from beauty line by didi now i'm applying the setting powder to set to set the highlight underneath my eyebrows this is another technique i just went back to before going into the eyeshadow i'm putting back that brown intense shade which we had there before drawing the eyebrows after you draw the eyebrows this shade goes away so make sure to put it back 
now i'm using my ea beauty eyeshadow palette i love this palette these are the shades i'm using that orangey brown shade and that dark brown shade i'm using those shades with my benai clown white eyeshadow primer now i'm applying the dark brown shade first from the outer v of my eye you can see how i'm and i'm using a fluffy brush to apply it i'm connecting it to that brown thing we did there do you remember the brown thing we did there i'm connecting it now i'm using a different fluffy brush to apply that light brown shade i pointed at just so that the dark brown will blend into the light brown and after this i'm basically almost done with the eyeshadow now these shimmery shades are also gotten from this same palette the silver for my inner corner and then like champagne gold for the eyelid i'm just using a flat brush to pat the shades on there now this is my zaron oh it's upside down <laughs> my zaron cosmetics gel liner another amazing product i use it for my waterline only and even for clients as well then my elf glitter glue with my glitter from white glam i'm going to use this to apply glitters just sparingly on the eyelid i would use a low light technique to show you guys because i don't know why it's not popping the way it was actually popping on ground gosh so i'm going to use low light now to show you guys how this looks so you can see the difference between this eye and the other eye it's mad at me <laughs> then i'm using that same brown shade i used at the top on the outer v i'm just going to put it underneath the black in my waterline now this is my 16 in one from wink lashes the best eyelash brand out there i'm using that style i popped it on already off camera i'm sorry guys so i'm using my fancy beauty highlighter trophy wife on my cupid's bow before i start to line my lips with my zaron cosmetics lipstick this lipstick is no longer being sold i always say this at all my water classes they don't have it anymore they stopped producing it for some weird reason i'm sure if they knew that there was one makeup artist that was catching the cruise of this lipstick they would have continued but it was too late before i caught the cruise so i'm just overlining my lips my lips are full but i like to overline regardless so please don't judge me so i'm just going to overline and use my lip palette I'll use the nude shade from my lip palette on this part of my lip. I love it. I love it. <laughs> so I'm going to blend blend the nude into your liner. Don't don't let don't let there be a harsh line separating the nude from your liner. That's like a blonder, really. Then I'm also going to use like a pinkish shade from that palette for the inner part of my lips. Now I'm taking off the setting powder from my under eye intensifying my blush a little more with the same orange blush shade then applying my highlighter from Fenty Beauty the high points of my cheekbones then my Zaron Cosmetics mascara just to enhance my bottom lashes my Nia makeup setting spray you guys should not sleep on this setting spray it's amazing it's a Nigerian brand and it's mad then I'm using my lip gloss this is the 100 naira absolute lip gloss i'm just I'm gliding it on my lips with my fingers the only chance we get to use our finger to do anything and we come to the end of the look amazing amazing this is what i came up with i'm so happy you guys stayed through and watched this you can recreate this and let me know how it went i'm sure it was very easy and it was it was an easy tutorial you guys can see how blended everything looks thank you so much for sticking with me thank you for staying on my channel i appreciate you guys don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed turn on your notifications share to all your friends thank you so much i'll see you in the next video bye